ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dark Phoenix Gaming, and you are watching Baldur's Gate 2 Throne of Ball. When we left off last time, we had just arrived in this city here. I forget the name, honestly. Let's see if it's in the journal. No, doesn't look like it, but we were asked to find our way into the castle and talk to Gromnir, the general who's currently running the show around here. Because apparently this lady, Melissa, Melissa something? Melisan, that's it. Yeah, she brought Gromnir in to help defend the town against another ball spawn army, and now he's just hiding and sitting on his ass. Anyways, we did some poking around and found out that there is an entrance to the sewers we could possibly use to get in to his castle through the sewers. But the priestess right here had it sealed up, Sister Feriel. So we need to talk to her to get the key to unseal it. And that is why we are in here. So, without further ado, let's get on with this. Of course. Hello there. Sister, I need a word. As always, the pleasure is mine. Greetings, my brother, and welcome to the house of Joaquin. I am Sister Feriel. How may I serve you? Okay, first let's see what you have to offer. You could buy some healing. Don't think in there is apparently plenty of potions and things. I'm going to pick up some stuff, I think. We have a lot of potion. And get some of that. Okay, we can come back later to buy some of this stuff if need be, I guess. So mm -hmm. I wouldn't dream of refusing. Now we might as well get some more information from her. What do you know about a woman named Melisan? Virtuous woman, a truly kind and compassionate lady. She brought the Ballswan to Saradush to find them sanctuary within its walls. It is not her fault that Gromnir took advantage of our hospitality. She meant well. Thus this siege has thwarted her noble efforts. The walls fall as they surely must. All the Ballspawn will be slaughtered, and her efforts to save them would be for naught. Would you happen to know of a way I can get into the castle and speak to Gromnir? I mean, we already know how we can get in there and talk to him, but I want to see if she'll come out and tell us. We should get inside the castle? Why? I would not suggest to anyone that they seek out Gromnir. In his mind, he is capable of anything, brother. I have little choice. I must seek him out regardless. You... You do not seem like an evil person, brother. Very, very well. I will help you with your task, though it will not be an easy one. Several years ago, I was asked to seal the entrance to the city jail to keep a great evil from escaping into the city. As a cleric of some power, I was the only one who could do so. I am loath to reopen the entrance, lest the evil escape into the city. But if you think... 
You can reason with Gromnir or aid the city somehow. Perhaps it's worth the risk. What kind of evil are we talking about exactly? I sensed that powerful undead creatures had taken up residence in the abandoned jail cells. More than this I cannot say, though. Oh, I would suggest you bring holy water with you before going down there. This key will open the door to the jail. The door itself has been warded against the undead, but once you are below, you will have no protection against them yourself. Now find the door across the street. I wish I could tell you where to go once you are down there. I know it connects to the castle, but not how. Take the key and be safe, brother. And we get a thousand expa per person. Let's see if there's anything else we want to buy before we go. Doesn't look like it. these. I don't know. Okay, fair enough. We have our key. Something you need. But now, oh, yes. I'm actually going to Just head back to the inn. I have something I need to take care of here. Still got that bullshit going on. Yeah. First of all, Jahira needs to level up. Reduction of Thakos, some more hit points, some more lore, and she gets an ability point. Going to give her elemental summoning, I think. No one else is in a position to level currently. Actually, is as a few of our party are a little beat up, we should probably rest and recuperate before we attempt to take this thing on. I got some cheap beer for you. So, I want a room. Thank you. I've been thinking about what you said earlier about waiting, and how sometimes we can wait so long for something we want, we end up losing what we already have. Oh, it seems Eri wants a little word before we retire for the night. But yes, it sounds like you've reached a decision then, Eri. I have, Toby. I love you. I want to be with you. 
now and forever, but I can't control the forever. I can only control the now. May I, may I sleep with you tonight if I haven't already waited too long? Okay, but are you sure about this, Aerie? I don't want you to feel pressured. I'm ready, Toby. Ready to commit to you in body, heart, and soul. Ready to give myself to you totally. I was afraid before, but not anymore. Whatever the future brings, I want us to make the most of the time we have together, starting right now. Well, I couldn't have said it better myself, honestly. Really couldn't. Shh. The fire is burning low and the others are asleep. Why don't I snuggle in with you, Toby? And when the morning comes, I promise I'll still be here. I won't push you away anymore, my love. And I swear I'll never let you go. Aw, isn't that just so sweet? I know a lot of people think Ari is just annoying. They don't like her, but... I really kind of do like Ari. As you will. And again, given that she was my selected romance. Of course. For this series, that does kind of make sense. And we have our prison key now, so we can head on. <laughs> First of all, we'll save the game, and then in we go. I wouldn't dream of refusing. Yes. First, Toby, put on your invisibility cloak. these tubes. I'm not seeing any dangers here. But bullets, we don't use bullets. And honestly, we're not like to find much of value. Visibility cloak, I think. There is something in there. Fuck, it's a vampire. We did not get level drained, thankfully. And we're down a vampire. So, Tobes, put your invisibility cloak back on, please. Looks like that little area is nice and cleared out. Here. Yep. Invisibility cloak back place. Shadows. What just happened? Ghostly apparition of an emaciated old man wearing tattered rags. He tries to speak, but no words come out. Look of sorrow in his eyes, he clutches his temples as if in agony and then vanishes. What just happened? 
just happened. A skull. And protection from magic energy. All right, I'll take your skull. This place is just too dark. I don't know creepy. why I'm taking this. I really skull. want out of here. I just am. Strike from the shadows. is back. He traces his spectral fingers around his neck as if trying to pantomime putting on a necklace. He points to the doors of the nearby cells, then vanishes once more. Hmm. What's going on here? Just not Something for the Oh yes. Mr. Ghosty McGhostface almost got me exposed there corner of this room is a shell grave which has been defiled. It is a human skeleton, though the skull is missing. I picked up a skull earlier, did I not? Indeed, indeed. to have worked. The spirit of the long-forgotten prisoner materializes beside his gravesite, points at the once blessed ground with imploring eyes before vanishing once more. If you had some elven holy water, you could sanctify the grave. Elven holy water. I believe I did collect some, actually. Sprinkle a few drops on the grave. The spirit appears once more, though its expression is now one of peace rather than anguish. Motions that it wants us to follow. Okay. What are we getting into? Ah, uh, we are all heroes. Mm -hmm. You and Boo and I. Oh, yes. Hamsters and rangers everywhere. Rejoice! What we're getting into is fighting another vampire. Dead vampire? Hooray. Stone in there. I have no idea why I was doing that, so but I mean. was. Let's check and see who in my party has been leveled. Toby has... As has Mints. Toby and Minsk have been leveled right. I think Harry should have the spell on her to reverse level draining. Yes. If I remember from when I was looking at my list of what spells she had. Well, 
Lesser Restoration. That's one. So please cast on Toby. That's got our level of drain reverse. And now I need to rest so she can cast it on Minsk. I'll help however I can. Right, reverse Minsk's level drain, please. And we'll rest again to get everyone. Okay. That did not go according to plan. I... I don't like the looks of this! Great fun! With vengeance! Toby is level, but now we need to... Unlevel drain what can at Jahira. And we didn't drop this at all. This is a lot more exciting than any circus. If you would. Now. Check and see. Fortunately, Jahira didn't drop low enough to lose any spells from her repertoire. That's nice. Now everyone's nice and rested, so. Toby and Saravark are both able to level up now. I'll take care of that. Saravark gets some stat boosts. That's it. Can't be bothered to read it out, honestly. Toby. His fighter level has gone up to 16. His Thacko is now 4. Has 2 attacks. Lore of 47. Times five backstab damage and all that. Let's see. We have one more point to give ourselves in terms of abilities, so. I'm going to take a, another greater whirlwind attack, I think. Toby's level up. Something you need. And at this point, basically, I think the only Just place that we have yet to visit is the area containing those vampire prostitutes. Onward, then. So we're going to have to deal with that next. I say that, apparently mm -hmm. there's an additional <laughs> vampire. Holy well, no, that's just her minion. I'm not going to repeat this dialogue, though, so... so. You got the vampire minion down? But I was a little too reckless with Toby there and died again. Yes. Of course! You point, I punch. I feel its icy breath. Swords, not words. We'll let everyone but for Toby. Ain't a lie. Yes. Now 
every year. Back the fuck off. Area's been level drained. I'm going to reload that so I don't lose Aries' ability to cure our level drains. Because that's just going to be annoyingly tedious. Yes. Like, Faster than Aerie, you take a fast pause. Why don't you wait back there? You point where Minsk goes. Yes. Evil stands aside. Okay, well, if I want to continue on, I need to fight those vampires again. Which I'm not of a mind to do this right now. I've already gone past my allotted length of time for an episode by a little bit. And this feels like a decent point to stop at anyways. I am very lost. So I'm going to cut it here and in the next episode uh, we, we will try to get ourselves unlost and, and, and figure out and where everywhere. we go Rejoice. from here. So I will see you then for that everybody. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this, then please hit that like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to get notified when I post the next episode. Thanks for watching, and I will see you then. So long for now, everybody.